Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Banished with the town of Lindum Colonia. So, we left off last episode. We just started building our schoolhouse. We were getting a little concerned about our food supply during winter. We're down to 710 stored food. But I think we're going to be okay. And we were discussing expanding further northwards with another Gavra's hut, as that seems to be the most efficient building so far. However, we are running quite low on stone, and while we do have a whole bunch over here designated for collection, it is really far away. And there is actually another collection of stone right here, which might be quite useful. Uh, so what I'm thinking is that we actually build a bridge. We've got 83 logs stored up, and I think, you know, we, we've actually got enough to do it. So we could build a wooden bridge across this little stream here, and then just grab all this stone that's right next to us. So I'm going to try that, and we'll see how it goes. So I want to connect it to that path there, ideally. There we go. 28 wood and 7 stone. So that actually works pretty well. Let's designate that, and I will make that a priority for our builder. Now we've only got one build at the moment, uh, so let's bump that up to two. So we'll have two labourers and two builders going, and they can... Uh, do stuff for us. But so far we're doing pretty well. We haven't had any disasters. Food's not terrible. Uh, we are still running short on leather. Another Gavra's hut and a hunting cabin are not going to be the worst things in the world. Uh, let's see how we do. Has anyone done anything with that yet? No. Where are our builders? Let's have a look. So, Philom, age 17. She's not educated, so she's someone who's actually been born in our little town. Uh, and she is working. I'm not sure. Uh, she's probably... Before I designated the building or turned her to a builder, she was probably already set to go and collect some of the stuff we've designated up here, I think, is part of the problem. Uh, as for loan... Where's our... Oh, they're right next to each other. Kindala. She's idling. Why is she idling? There was work to be done. God damn it, Kandala. You're a very lazy 12 year old. But there we go. Let's have a quick look and see how efficient everything's being at the moment. So, yeah, the fishing dock did very well last season, actually, with only three people. So, that's good to see. Firewood, yeah, we're producing pretty much all the firewood. We're definitely, you can see where we've expanded the number of houses. We're using a lot more firewood now. Um, which means they're just having to make more. So I'm going to actually up the limit on that to... Uh, hmm. Actually, I'm going to put it all the way up to 400 and see if that holds us. We are going to need some more houses soon. I did notice that our last house has now been occupied. But I want to get these things built first. Uh, Bentonio has become an adult and is working as a labourer. Uh, our herbalist has completed all their herbs. Uh, which we got, I think, yep, stored medicine, 107 units there. So that will help keep people quite healthy. Uh, we are getting a nice amount of logs, some iron, some stone, so that's not too bad. The hunting cabin. Yeah, you can see it's fairly, fairly standard, leather, venison, and seems to be whatever else they might pick up while they're out and about. Um, we definitely want more leather if we want to keep making clothes, but we do have 20 in storage, so it's not like we're running out. And yeah, the Gavra's Hut, oh, we've just switched season, so again, they're just very efficient units, the Gavra's Hut. Very good at getting the raw materials we need. Okay, the schoolhouse has all the supplies now, uh, so I just need one of my builders to stop mucking about. Visiting the herbalist, okay, well finding clothing. Okay. It's cold and it's finding some... Ah, no. Now she's going to go. Uh, ooh. Early spring and food has gone down to 87. We definitely need to start thinking about that Gavra's hut then. Uh, we are about to start planting our squash and cabbages though, so that will help. I think I said last episode I'm not convinced these are the most efficient uh, crop fields we could do. Uh, it might be a case we need to rethink that area. But let's get our schoolhouse up and running. We've now got 27 adults. That's a pretty good number. I think I'd be happy um, getting education going now. It will slow us down a bit in rates of expansion, but 
once people become educated, they're much faster workers. Uh, the blacksmith has made all the tools we need, which is good. There we go, this will complete momentarily. We've got a couple of spare labourers. Actually, let's get another builder while we're at it. And we will assign a school teacher. There we go. So now, as our children come of age, they will turn not into workers, but into students. And they will stay that way for another eight seasons. Uh, which obviously is a bit disappointing. It's quite a long time. But the long term benefits is what we're looking for. Put a dirt road out of there. Um, now, I did say I was going to expand northwards, didn't I? So let's see, where would be a good place to put another gatherer's hut? Let's see if I can find the gatherer's hut. There we go. Hmm. Tempted to go north, further north into this area. Yeah, let's pop one here. That looks like it could be quite a good spot. And we will also put down a hunting cabin opposite that. There we go. We'll put a road down to connect the two. Just the, the same dirt track we've been using for a while. And I will link that like so. There we go. Now that will probably take them a while to do. Uh, oh, excellent, the bridge is done. So as this is all a lot closer resources, I'm just going to designate pretty much everything in this area to be harvested. Like so. And I'm going to deselect everything we told them to collect over here. Because it's just, it's taking that a little bit too long. There we go, so all the labourers should, well, turn around and come and sort out this bit. Is that... Oh, I missed a section of road off there. Okay, I'm just just for completion's sake, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to sort that out. I can't leave that. Don't be don't be mad. But excellent, we've got a we've got a bridge, which is quite nice. And oh god, that guy killed the deer. That guy killed the deer right in front of us. I wasn't expecting that. I was about to say, oh look at that nice deer, and then he killed it and skinned it and Jesus. Um Yeah. Okay. Uh, we are up to 19 children now. That's pretty good going, actually. That is pretty good going. Uh, hmm, I'm still worried about food. It's early summer. I am tempted to throw down another crop field and see what we can get out of it. There's a spot here. Let's make it an 11 by 11 crop field. I think the... Hmm, let's quickly look. See which one seemed the most efficient last year. 240? And 239. Well, it's close. Yeah. I'm not a fan of cabbage. I'm not entirely sure if I like squash, but I'm not a fan of cabbage, so let's go squash. Now, we do need another one, another farmer. Just one will do it. Okay. Now, hopefully, we've done it. It's still early summer, so someone can come out. Oh, now we've not got enough of that one. Okay. Okay, so now we've got four farmers, which still leaves us with two labourers and two builders. And we are pulling in resources from this area, which is nice and close. Let's run a little road through there, just to keep it that little bit faster for them. Not sure what's blocking me there, probably a tree. Oh no, some mushrooms. Well, maybe someone will come and get the mushrooms. That'd be quite handy. Yeah, we're still short on leather which will be for a while until we get that next hunting cabin up. But people have already been up here and are doing the work, so that's good. Uh, actually, I'm going to put it up to three builders, because once the stuff's there, that will help a lot. And, okay, it looks like we have missed out on the crop, on the harvesting for this year. Hmm. Yeah. Can't... Why aren't all my farmers? No. Okay, looks like we can get away. We can get away with three there. Oh no, no, it says no. Okay, you do want four? What? You can't have four people. Five. There we go. It does seem. It does seem happy with four eventually. 
I had to play around with that a bit. So we did get, there should have been another 240 cabbages, yeah. Um, we haven't brought any of the squash in yet. Maybe cabbages would be better for this spot. Screw it, okay fine, cabbages, they seem to grow faster. Just solely based on that, which may have been slightly screwed up by me mucking around with it really. But we'll see. So yeah, we're collecting stuff here. We've got a lot of wood stored, we've got a lot of firewood. Uh, we are getting some stone and iron brought in. Tools are okay, uh, we are running out of clothes though. Medicine's fine. Food. Food is what we seem to be having an issue with at the moment. We, yeah. 27 adults, 2 children, and uh, 2 students, and 17 children. Let's get another fisherman. I think... Okay, I'm going to go back on my earlier decision. I think the... Ah, okay, the Forester's Lodge has stopped working because we've hit 200 logs. Let's, let's bump that up a bit, because you can never have too many logs, really. So there we go. We're probably going to hit that limit again soon, because of all the stuff we're collecting down here, but the people who are working there, when they hit the limit, will start coming down here to collect this stuff anyway, so I don't think that's too much of a problem. Let's, uh, let's emphasise these areas, and see if we can't get our, our builder to to get up there and do stuff. Well, now the fields are done, the farmers will have turned into labourers as well, so that should be okay. Although they may be quite busy doing all of this. I don't know. I may have made a mistake. Maybe let's... Let's deselect some of what we told them to harvest. Let's just get the nearest stuff done first. And then hopefully... Yep, here we go. So we've got... They've built the road up there first, which is quite good. That will help move stuff quite quickly. Uh, and now, unfortunately, they are just leaving. So that sucks. Hmm. So autumn, 239 food. Yeah. We also do need more housing soon, but as soon as I build more housing, people are going to start moving out and having babies, uh, which will just exacerbate the food problem. So for the time being, I'm going to hold off on building any more houses until we've got a nice stockpile of food built up again. And once this area is up and running, and the uh, hunting and gatherers are up here uh, up and running, we should be okay. I hope. He says, hopefully, to himself. But we will see. This is working quite nicely. We are getting in a lot of stuff. 283 logs, so that's perfect, really. Unfortunately, we're not going to have anyone else become a labourer anytime soon now, because all the children are turning into students. Um, and they're going to be students for a while. We can find a student somewhere. So yeah, he's 11, 12. Yeah, it's going to be a good couple of seasons before we get another any other workers coming out to us. Which is the problem of education. It slows down your expansion, it means you can't react to things, but people will still be having babies in the background. You've got to time it very carefully. Yeah, so now five students. Yeah. Uh, we are out of stored clothing. Just don't have any leather around. Early winter, food is still very low. But we have made great inroads on this area. Uh, have we got any further up here? No. Okay. I really do want to prioritise this area, guys. I'm not joking. Now, I don't know if this has any effect doing it more times, but I'm just going to do it multiple times and we'll see what happens. Early winter, and we are snowing. I do like the uh, weather effects in this. I think they're quite pretty, actually. If you, uh, if you zoom in quite low, it looks very idyllic. Unfortunately, where I live, we didn't get much snow this year, and that sucked. And it never really settled. And I like snow. I'm a really, I'm a big fan of snow. I'm a big fan of winter in general, actually. Not a fan of uh, of the heat. So uh, yeah, a bit strange like that. Okay, we're ticking over nicely. 
food is still low. I'm going to keep worrying about food because we literally just ran out of stored food there. Uh, but the fishing dock is still producing, so that will keep us going. Yeah, there's yeah stuff is being brought down. Part of the problem is our collection areas are so far away. It's all got to be. They're working in this area, bringing it back here, and then carrying it down this way. Uh, I think we've got we've got enough wood now. Let's see if we can't focus on stone. That's what I really want. And when someone gets a chance, we'll just uh, we will make a quick dirt road there. late winter. No starvation yet. We might get through this. Let's see how it goes. 27 adults, 5 students and 16 children. So that's not too bad. This is going to be coming into our 6th year now of the Lindum Colonia. Just would really like someone to actually come and build these places. Is that one of our builders there? Placing inventory and storage. I don't know why you're doing that when there's building tasks to be done. Nope, okay. I know you're working, but you're not working as a builder. That's, that's a bit annoying. Yeah, he knows he should be up there, he just he doesn't want to go. Uh, okay. Well... Let's be radical. I didn't want to do this, but we're just going to abandon our collection areas, our collection efforts, rather, in this area. And, uh, yeah, everyone, you, the only things you should be doing at the moment, people, is working on this area. That's, that's it. You shouldn't be doing anything else. We're now into early spring. Unfortunately, we didn't have any sort of uh, New Year's celebration. We don't, we don't really go for that kind of thing in Lindum Colonia. It's not our bag, baby. But yeah, we're doing quite well. No starvation. They're working the fields. You can see them planting all their seeds and uh, raking or hoeing or... Well, I'm not entirely sure. Again, not a gardener. This is why I play computer games. Oh, it looks like we do have some leather in stock again, so they are making clothes, so that's good. Still plenty of firewood. Screw it. We're always going to want firewood, and I'd rather that building just stayed operational. It's less efficient than just going out and chopping trees down directly, but it's a nice steady income. How are we doing up here? Okay. Someone has finally got up here to do stuff. They are... Okay. They broke up a few rocks, and then they left. Good job, guys. And there we go, we've got cabbages, no, squash, sorry, I looked at squash and said cabbages. There we go, these are the cabbages. Just not a fan of cabbage. Uh, which is obviously why we're growing so much of it. It did seem to grow faster and be harvested quicker last year, so... We'll see how this goes, but hopefully that will produce quite a lot. If that small area produced 240, I'd hope we get around 600 out of this area at least. And that's going to be that's going to be a good boost. Now entering late spring, rainy again. Not a terribly great spring. Is anything happening in this area at all? This is the problem with these sort of games where you don't have direct control over anyone. I can't just click on a person and say, "Right, go here," you know, at the expense of everything else. They are they are sort of people. They have their own their own minds and ideas. Which is terribly annoying. I need this to be a dictatorship. They, they seem to have too much free will. Hmm. See, this year it looks like the squash is going to come in first. I honestly don't know. I. It could be nothing at all. I might be making mountains out of molehills there. I just thought the cabbages were ever so slightly faster. Look, tiny baby deer. And no one's going to come over here and kill them, thankfully. I think we might eventually want to do another bridge to this area as well. Um, again, lots of trees close by, 
lots of rock, lots of iron, so good resources for the grabbing. And also it's a nice little area to expand to. But I think that will be something for next episode. Um, I'm going to leave you here, still waiting for these buildings to be worked on. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye!